Today is actually, I'll be talking about a like testimony um, that I went through. Like, it's actually a testimony. Something that I went through and something that I experienced was actually yesterday. So for the past, I'll say, under two weeks, Durban has been extremely hot. And I've been struggling to sleep at night. And I wake up in the morning feeling groggy. Uh, just not feeling okay because I didn't have, like, a good night's sleep. I didn't have my beauty sleep. Um... So, like, I woke up feeling low. I woke up feeling ugly. So, and, you know, I usually, like, every morning when I go to work, I pray about the day, safe traveling mercies, and just God to be with me throughout the day. But I didn't pray about esteem, you know. And, you know, what's funny is, like, the moment I left the house until I got to work, the amount of compliments I got Like, I'll insert the pic. Um, I got a compliment on how my hair looks. I got a compliment on how my hat looks, how how I look. And I was like, when I got to work, I was like, I didn't feel like how I did in the morning. It may be something small to you, but to me, it was a big deal. Because I was like, my esteem was so low that I just didn't feel like doing anything else. But God sent people along the way to cheer me up. Something so small as esteem, something so small as, uh, 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 as, as compliments, God actually cared about that. He actually cares about how I feel about myself. And I really was like, whoa, I didn't even pray about it. So if I did pray about it, how much more healing was God going to bring? Sometimes we need to just, as children of God, we need to relax and know that we're in good hands. You know, God knows what we need. He knows which parts of us need to be repaired. If there's areas in your life that you forgot to pray about, just know that God has it covered. Like, I needed those compliments. It made my day. It's not like I live on compliments, but for, for that day, it really cheered me up. And I do feel like it was God. I do feel like he knew what he was doing. So with that said... I just wanted to encourage you and let you know, if you feel like you are alone in this world, just with me saying what I just said about how God actually like sends people to compliment me and make me feel good. I mean, I like it was an inner thought and God heard those inner thoughts. So whenever you have those inner thoughts that are not good, God hears them and he goes out of his way to cheer you up. Like, don't feel like you are alone in this world, that people don't understand you. God understands you, and he has you in his best interests. He has your healing in your best interests. So what I'm trying to say is, like, because when I, when, when, you know, when I got to work, I was like, why was I feeling like that? I shouldn't feel this way. And I had to be like, Lord, I don't want you to be sending hundreds of people every day my way just to build me to build my spirits up. I just need to just know that you are my God and you love me just the way I am. I need to also love myself just the way I am. I'm made in his image. And it was a lesson that I had to learn. And I asked God for repentance. And I like, Lord, please forgive me. Like, please forgive me for what I did, for thinking this way. And help me, Father, not to listen to the lies of the devil and not to believe them because I believe them. So what I'm trying to say, encourage you guys, is that whenever the lies come into your life, Whenever something comes and tells you you're not good enough or you're not worthy enough or you don't fit in, you don't, you mustn't live, blah, blah, blah. Don't listen to those lies and know that God is with you. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. He has good thoughts for you. He has good plans for you. He has good plans for you. And we need to just accept that and receive that. We shouldn't go seeking affirmation from outsiders and strangers and people we know just know that you are enough just that alone knowing that you are enough nothing else will break you so i just wanted to encourage you guys on this topic because uh it's a new year and we are approaching the end of january in the new year but i just wanted us to continue this year with the mindset that we need to just receive god we need to just receive him and only him 
And like, once you are rooted in the word of God, once you are rooted in the truth of God, nothing in this world will shake you in your finances, in your relationships, in your businesses, in your school life, in your any in your daily living nothing will shake you because you know who you are you know your identity in christ you know your purpose you know your will you know your direction nothing will shake you you are anchored in christ so i just wanted to leave a scripture verse with you guys so that you can just meditate on it on this week or on today and it's something that you need to just keep reading over and over again. It may sound like something simple. It may like some something that you've heard before. But it's an important scripture that I need to also remember and also meditate over and over again. Because I tend to forget. So the scripture for today is, Do not worry. And it's taken from Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 to 34. And it says, Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about your clothes? See how the flowers of the fields grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor has dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow thrown into the fire, Will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? So, do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So please, guys, don't be like the pagans who stress and stress and stress. We know the truth. We have a Savior who loves us and knows what we need and who always answer us. So receive the word, be glad, be whole, and Thank you guys for watching Seeds of Hope and remember to subscribe, remember to like, comment and share to your family and friends and tune in next time on my new series that I want to do every day. But let's see, let's see, maybe I'll post two times a week, three times a week, let's see. I don't want to commit, you know, it must become like a routine and everything but yeah guys, thank you for tuning in and until next time. And also, guys, if you want some uh, encouragement or a specific topic, comment down below and I can do a, a video on that. Or even like send me like a message on a testimony so that I can tell everybody about it. Like encourage people with your testimony. You know, I've got so many. Like embrace yourself. Like this was just like the beginning. I've got like deep stuff to tell you guys how God has changed my life, how he has taken me from zero to hero so guys have a great day be blessed and remember to meditate on the word of god day and night see you guys and remember that god loves you